Hello friends, welcome you back to this class of Applied Thermal Engineering. In the previous video, I had left this problem in the middle, I had left it. I just showed you how to draw the velocity diagram and I, because I cannot do it graphically, I cannot draw this according to scale, I just wanted to do it analytically so that you can check your answers when you get the answers you can check whether those answers are correct or not now this vf i have taken this right angle triangle abd abd in this triangle this angle is alpha that is 20 degree 20 degree this angle and this is a right angle triangle so this is opposite side and this is hypotenuse you know opposite by hypotenuse is sin alpha and so Vf will be equal to V sin alpha that is 1050 into sin 20. That day my calculator was not properly working so I was not able to do it. I am doing it once again for your benefit. So into 1050 will give me 359 point something. You can take it as 359 meters per second we can take it like that now when you do it graphically when you do it graphically you will not get 359 you may get it 3.5 or 3 350 meters per second or 360 meters per second 10 meters per second this side or that side you will not get exactly 3.59 even if it is 3.59, you can't measure it with your scale, with your ordinary measuring scale. You cannot measure it. So it should be taken as either 3.5 meters, 5 centimeters or 3.6 centimeters. And if you multiply it by the scale factor, that is the scale factor is we have taken 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meters per second. So this should, you will, you should get this around 3.6 centimeter. This should be in, when you check it, when you get those, when you do it, you please check whether you are getting that. Now, 1050 into cos 20, that is, this is adjacent side, BD is the adjacent side, AD is the hypotenuse. So this by this is cos theta. So cos alpha is equal to Vw by V. So Vw is equal to V into cos alpha. That is 1050 into cos 20. Now that if we do cos into 1050. I am getting it as 986.6. Or you can take it as 987. 987 meters per second. So you should get this. This you should get 9.9, 9.8, 9 9.9, somewhere around this, this, so many centimeters you should, you should get. So if you get it as 9.9 .9 into 100, that will give you 990 meters per second. Next, I found out this theta after Vf and Vw. Next thing is we can find out theta. So from triangle ABC, tan theta is opposite by adjacent that is vf by vw minus v so theta will be tan inverse of vf by vw minus v now we know all these three that is vf is 359 359 divided by divided by 987 minus 301 actually in graphical you will take 300 only, 301 I take. So 987 minus 301 means you will get 686, 359, 359 divided by 686 will give me 0 0.52 something, tan inverse of this tan inverse of this, tan inverse of that, I am getting 27.6 degrees, you will get it if you put your protractor here, if you 
protractor you must get somewhere around 28 degree 29 degree something like that it will be more than 20 it will be more than 20 alpha theta will be more than this so if i take that as 28 28 this phi also will be 28 that is exit angle also will be same because he says theta and phi are equal or the blades are symmetrical he will say so you have to take that also 28 now after this we can get this vr how to get vr vr is vf by sin theta vf is 359 or 360 you can take divided by 28 sin will give me 766.8 this is you are you must get 7.8 7.7 7.7 that is around 770 770 meters per second so vr1 will be uh, 0.85 into that into 0.85 if i do it should be 651.8 or 652 this will be this will be 652 that means 6.6 6.6 .6, 6 uh, 6.5 be 6.5 it should be around 6.5 roughly next i want this vw1 so vw1 will be vr1 vr1 is how much 652 652 into cos 5 cos 5 is same as theta so cos 28 degree minus 301 so let us see how much I get. Uh, 652 into 28 cos cos equals minus 301. I am getting as plus 274.5. Plus 274.5. It is positive. Meters per second. This is the value of VW1. That means you must get this uh, somewhere around 2.7 centimeters. 2.7 centimeters when you draw it. I don't require V1, V2, Vf1, V beta, all that. I don't require. Now what I want is I want I got theta. He has asked me to find out theta. I got that as around 28 degrees. Next he wants power and efficiency. Now for power this is the formula ms is given so power will be equal to 0.375 multiplied by vw vw we have got 987 987 plus it is plus 274.5 into v that is 300 or you can take it as 301 divided by 1000 so many kilowatts so now 987 plus 274.5 5 into no, 987 plus 274.5 equals this much into 0.375 into uh, 301 will give me this much divided by 1000 divided by 1000 will give me 142.4 kilowatts 142.4 kilowatt this is the power I get now you check it, you have to check these values and if you get anything other than that, you must inform me. Then he wants diagram efficiency, that is the formula is 2 into VW1, that is 987. Here it is plus or minus, now I am getting it plus. VW1, 274.5 into 301 divided by v square that is v is given as 
1050 square 1050 square will give me 987 plus 274.5 will give me 1 equal into 2 into 301 divided by 1050 square will give me 0.688 or I can take it as 0.69 that is 69% that is the diagram efficiency 69% is the diagram efficiency now I have completed this uh, I want you to draw this I will once again explain this what I did, I have taken, I have taken a scale that uh, one centimeter is equal to hundred meters per second. Now you can take it. Uh, it is left to you, your uh, this thing. I have taken it as one thousand fifty. It should neither be very big. It should not go out of your sheet. You know, your sheet A4 sheet will come in your answer booklet. It should not go out of that, and it should not be too small also. It should not be too small. So like that you have to select this scale. Now I selected 1 cm is equal to 100 meters per second. Then this will be represented by 10.5 cm. If you divide this by 100, it will, you will get 10.5. And this uh, V is around 300 meters per second. So it will be represented by 3. Now there was a doubt whether this should be taken this side or that side. You can take it any side. Your books, most of your books take it this side, but I usually take it that side. So there is a confusion in your mind. Some of the, some of them keep asking whether it should be done like that, like this. You can do it any way you want. Now I have done it as they have done it in most of your textbooks. So I have drawn a line here. I have marked two points here, C, D, that is small b, that is 300 meters per second. Now that 300 meters per second by my scale will be 3 centimeters. I have marked it. Then from this point D, I have drawn a line inclined at 20 degree. Now on this line, I have marked this V. V is 10.5. Capital V is the velocity of steam at inlet of the turbine. So that will be 10.5 centimeters. From here, D to A, the distance is 10.5 centimeter. From A, you will draw a perpendicular to this horizontal line. So then you join this point to this point, A to C. A to C you join. Now, this completes your inlet velocity triangle. This is your inlet velocity triangle. You know this, you know this angle 20, you know this 3 centimeters, right? All other things you can get, you measure this. It should be around 3.6. By calculation, I am getting 359. By drawing, if you do graphical, you will not get 3.59. You can't read it. It will be 3.5 or 3.6. It is closer to 3.6. That value is three, uh, closer to 3.6. So it will be around 3.6. So it should be 3.6. And this side, VD, the horizontal side, VW, I am getting 987. That means it should be 9.8 or 9.9. .9. Either this way or that way it will be there. That will be allowed. You, if you take 980 also it will be allowed. If you take 990 also they will give the full marks. No problem about that. Then this side VR is 7.7. 7, 770 I am getting. Somewhere around that. 7, uh, this I am getting. 780 something. 780. Uh, 760 something. 765 or something like that. So that will be 7.7, .7, either 7.6 or 7.7 .7 you get. And you have to take your protractor and measure this angle. It should come 28 degrees. I am getting it as 27.6. You will not get 27.6. It will be either 27 or 28 or it may be little more also 29 also. It is not, it doesn't matter. So this is got then this angle, this is the uh, blade angle at exit or outlet. So this we know. If you know theta, you know phi also. Then you draw a line like this, inclined at 28 degrees here. 
on this line mark 6.5 cm why we are 1 is 0.85 times we are so 0.85 into we are that is 0.84 into 770 it is somewhere around 650 650 centimeters per second so it will be marked as 6.5 centimeters from here you will draw a perpendicular you join e to d and this will be you will be 2 point something 2 point something that will be if it is coming outside if this comes inside then it will be minus here in calculation also i can get the value either plus or minus and here i am getting it plus so in your uh, diagram it will come outside f will come outside so this will be 2.7 centimeters so i want this vw1 vw1 is the velocity of wheel at outlet i want that so after that you substitute these values in this uh, formula and you will get the answers it may be little variation may be there it may be 140 it may be 145 these answers it may be 69 percent 68 percent 70 percent something like that but it doesn't matter it because you are doing it graphically you have been asked to do it graphically or you have been trained to do it graphically you can do it that way here if you do it analytically you will get exact but you must know these trigonometric functions very clearly what is sine what is cos stand if it is cumbersome to you if it is difficult for you you can do it graphically no problem about that if the values are slightly higher or lower it doesn't matter what matters is the procedure whether you are following followed the procedure properly or not that is what matters okay so this completes that problem i wanted that problem to be completed so that you will practice it and you will get it correctly it may it carries 10 marks so you will get all those 10 marks from you okay we i want you to score all the 10 marks this student from Sira, uh, from sagar has sent a few problems we were doing it we did one problem i showed you one problem how to do it then there is one more problem i have selected here in this problem it says the outlet area of the nozzle in a single impulse turbine is 15.5 square centimeter area of the nozzle outlet is 15.5 square centimeters 15.5 square centimeters and the steam leaves them at 9.91 drive 0.91 drive that means x is 0.91 at 1.4 bar that is pressure is 1.4 bar 1.4 bar okay 1.4 bar and at 920 meters per second at 920 meters per second right and this uh, the blade angles are 30 degree at inlet and exit theta is 30 degree phi is also 30 degree the inlet blade angle and exit blade angle is 30 degree and the blade velocity is small b is 0.25 b 0.25 times velocity of steam velocity at the exit from the nozzle the friction factor k that is vr1 by vr is 0 0.8 0 0.8 find number one nozzle angle nozzle angle uh, Power developed P power developed uh, diagram efficiency or blade efficiency it is also called and axial thrust axial thrust that means FY FY 
he wants these things. So here, here, the problem is slightly different, slightly different, slightly different in the sense it is not the usual type of problem. Now, in usually in turbine problem, this will not be given. These things will not be given, but he has given. I will tell you why. See, here you have a turbine. This is the beam, let us say. And the steam is coming out of the nozzle here. You have the nozzle. We have nozzle here. It is coming out from here. It is coming out and striking this wheel. This is the wheel. This is, these are the blades. It is striking them and making it to move. Okay, this is it. Now, here, he has given the area here. He has given the area of the nozzle and exit of the nozzle. It is given in 50, as 15.5 square centimeters. It will be 15.5 divided by 100 into 100 square meters. Or it is 15.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 square meters. X is 0.91. The, the steam that is coming out here is wet steam and its dryness fraction is 0.91. Its pressure is 1.4 bar. Now why these details are given is you have to find out the mass of steam to calculate power you require mass of steam that is striking this wheel per second how much steam is coming out it is striking per second ms you know this ms is equal to area of nozzle at exit area of nozzle at exit in square meters into v velocity of steam at exit, exit of the nozzle, A into V divided by X into VG. X into VG. So many kg per second. You have we have you you have used this formula in nozzles. You write A2 V2 by X2 VG2, A3 V3 by X3 VG3, MS is equal to mass of steam mass flow of steam is equal to this you will write. So here I am not taking it as A2, A3, whatever it is. It is I have taken it as A only, out exit area. I know that it is exit area. V is the velocity that I know. This is given, this is given. X is also given. The dryness fraction of the steam is also given. And Vg is not given. That's why he has given this pressure. For this pressure, I think Vg will be somewhere around, from the steam table, you can get it, it is around, I think, 1.25, something like that, kg, meter cube per kg. That is Vg corresponding to this pressure, which you will get from the steam table. So, you know this also, because the pressure is given, you know Vg also, you can get the discharge from the nozzle in kg per second. For that reason, it is given. Now, we will substitute and find out what it is. A is 15.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into V. V is 920 velocity of steam. X is given as 0.91. This is approximately, I, I don't have the steam table. I am taking it. It will be around that. I am sure it will be around 1.25 cubic meter per kg. You can check up uh, if it is, or it may be slightly less or more. Uh, it will be around that. So approximately I will get it. So the answer will be 15.5 into 920. It will be 
around 1.25, approximately 1.25 kg per second. This is mass. So you require that for calculating P. So MS, I we are getting how much? Around 1.25 kg per second. Let it be there. Let it be there. For that only he has given this. Next. Next. We have to draw the velocity triangle. We have to draw the velocity triangle. So generally, generally, in most of the problems, V is given, this capital V is given, small v is given, that is given here also, it is 0 0.25 into 920. That means, it is I think around 230, 230 meters per second. 230 meters per second, 0 0.25 into 920, uh, 230 meters per second that is. This is known, this is known. Normally they used to give alpha, they used to give alpha, that is nozzle angle at inlet they used to give. But here he is asking us to find out the nozzle angle, it is not given. Instead of nozzle angle, here this is given. This is given. Now, I will draw a rough triangle, rough velocity triangle here. So, this is let us say V. This is small V. Uh, this is capital V. Uh, this is VR. This is Vf and this is Vw. Just to explain you. Explain you, I have drawn this. Now, this angle, the angle alpha is not given in this problem. It is asked. Instead of alpha, he has given this angle theta. It is given as how much? 30 degree. Now, how much will this be? How much will that be? That will be, this is 90. So, this is 30. Theta is 30. So, this plus this should be 90. So, this must be 60 degree. This must be 60 degree. Right? That must be 60 degree. Now, what you do here is, first, you draw a horizontal line. Take a scale. You select a scale. Again, I think you can take around 1 centimeter is equal to uh, 100 meters per second. You can take. No problem. So, this will be how much? 920 means it will be 9.2 centimeter. This is 230 means it will be 2.3 centimeter. Right. Draw a horizontal line. On this line, mark mark how much small v you mark small v you mark small v right that is you will take it as 2.3 centimeters you can call this as some name you give a b some name you give now this angle i know is 30 degrees This angle is 30 degree. You mark 30 degree here. 30 degree angle you mark that you know. Now, you be as center. Take a radius of 9.2 centimeter. That is 920 meters per second. Keep the compass on B and draw an arc. So this gets cut somewhere like this. Let us say. Call that point as C. Now from C, you draw a, you draw a perpendicular, join this, 
B to C U join. B to C U join. You call this point as B. This is perpendicular drawn from here. Now, keep your protractor here. Measure this angle. You write how much it is. You would write alpha is equal to so many degrees. You can write it. Then, then measure CD. That will give you VF. Measure BD. That will give you VW. This is VW. Measure and convert it. So this will be VW minus V. Measure this. This will be VR. Right. This will be VR, VF, VW. Theta is known. Alpha you will get. You say, you, you write, alpha is so much. Then, phi is also 350 degree. Uh, sorry, 30 degree. So, mark 30 degree here. This is also 30 degree. On this line, mark VR1. Now, VR1 is 0.8 into VR. It is given. Friction factor is given. If that is not given, you will take VR1 is equal to VR. So, on this line, mark the distance. Mark the distance. Join this point to this point. You call that point as D is over. This point is E. F. This is F. Then this is V1. This is VR1. V1. VF1. And this is VW1. Now mark these things. Take the measurements. Convert them in scale. And as we did in the previous problem. Find out power diagram efficiency. This Fy will be. Fy will be. Ms into Vf minus Vf1. Divided by 1000 kilo newtons. That is the axial force on the blades. Fx is the tangential force. Fy is the axial force. This is the formula for that. You will you have everything. Only thing is this ms is not directly given here. Instead of giving ms, he has given the area of the nozzle at exit. He has given the pressure with which the uh, steam is coming out of the nozzle and what is its dryness fraction, all that is given so that you can get ms from there. So that is all the trick he had played. So they play some tricks like this to confuse you and to see, test your intelligence, how intelligent you are. To test all that, they will do it once in a way. Otherwise, normally the simple problem will be they will give V, small v, capital V and alpha and you can draw those triangles and do it. So this is how it should be done. Okay, this is how it should be done. That is different from regular problem like that.